going on, dudes and dudettes. So yeah, a couple of things real quick. I just wanted to get it out of the way instead of waiting a few more days, and I have so much to talk about then. But real quick, you know, JT Daniels, he's in the news again. You know, they're saying that he could be the starting, I think he should be the next starting quarterback for USC, just because he, as we've seen with Matt Fink and Jack Sears in this spring football right now, they aren't really that consistent. And this guy, even though he's two to three years younger than both of those guys, I think he's more <laughs> ready to play college football right at the second than they are. It's just a younger man's league or team when it comes to football nowadays. So these guys are more prepared and more ready. So I think they're going to roll with the dice. And what they didn't do with Sam Darnold two years ago and go with JT Daniels, which I'm kind of going to be excited about because he is the real deal. And, you know, some projections for next year, USC is being ranked like 15th, 17th in the nation. So, you know, that's good to still be in the top 25, still be respected. I know last year they had us, I think it was like top eight and stuff. Like, that was pretty crazy. But they were expecting so much when USC didn't have that great of an offensive line coming back or even consistent as well. So hopefully these not-so-crazy expectations can help them out. And hopefully there's a few upsets that can pull them into the number top four or something like that. You know, hopefully they'll be number one. But you never know. It's going to be a tough schedule, especially going to Texas. And they reloaded pretty well with their recruiting class. And, of course, you see there Paul George and LeBron teaming up in L.A. And LeBron as well in that Laker and gold. It still looks good, but, you know, he's on a freaking mission right now. You can see him in the playoffs. He's... And the thing in the second round, he's averaging 40 points a game so far, and they won both games, and they're supposedly the underdog. So, you know, it's tough to see him, you know, still being this good and, you know, leaving Cleveland because he obviously can carry anybody. They would just need more trades to get more players that he wanted. And even, I'm sure if they make more trades, Paul George would rather go there and stay in the East than come join him in the West, and it'd be more difficult, and you're probably going to be third, fourth, maybe fifth seed, and maybe not have home field advantage. So I'm sure those guys are going to be kind of cheaters and stay in the East. But hopefully if we get rid of that soon, uh, Commissioner Silver, get rid of that and just do the top 16 teams with the best record, get in the playoffs no matter East or West, and do with that. You know, that would be the greatest thing right now. So thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Have a great weekend.